Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Trombone First Aid. Today we are talking about sound and more specifically in core, focus and intonation. Our biggest enemy uh, when we talk about sound is tension and tongue. Tension because it affects the way we breathe and the way we blow and also we get stiff in our arm and everything is against a free resonating body. So our body should be elastic and not constricted. Muscles, when they get tense, uh, tend to constrict our body. So the resonance we could offer is really diminished. When I talk about tongue, I refer to the fact that when we have to articulate something, we tend to abuse of our tongue. Normally, we should rely mostly in the airflow to produce sound and produce the attack, uh, rather than just thinking about the tongue. The tongue itself is not sounding, it's just stopping and cutting the airstream. So it lets you a kind of control on it, but it's not a positive control, it's a negative one. So I suggest you to get more familiar and practice uh, air attacks and try to differentiate different kind of staccato when you play air attacks. You can practice this, for example, at the very beginning, like I said in the warm-up uh, video, so that your body is naturally introduced to this air attack uh, every day from the beginning. Normally, we tend to be taught at the beginning of our school uh, that ah, you should not hear glissato, you should not hear this uh, moving with, between position. That, that's right, but this way we encourage stopping the airflow too much. Then we encourage using a lot of tongue to just stop this part of the playing that makes some noise. And this is just covering uh, some dirt with a carpet, not solving the problem, but just hiding it. When I play something uh, quite articulated and forte, I tend to uh, give more importance to the air than to the tongue. When I want to control pianissimo or this kind of dynamic, then tongue is very delicate and precise. But when I have to play forte or fortissimo, tongue is gradually disappearing. And I let space, I let more room to airspeed to control my articulation. When you use a very fast airspeed, it's like bam on the, on the mouthpiece, then you don't use uh, you don't need to use the tongue because it's like a little short explosion of air which makes the same effect than releasing your tongue and letting the air go through the mouthpiece. But if you use the tongue, anyway, you start from a position of tension. You have to put a muscle in the middle and then finally start. Using air, you start playing from your breath just before playing and then you find your coordination just releasing the air. So uh, this way for me is much more efficient and lets you enjoy more your, uh, your playing because it's free, it's more natural, it's non-stopping.
when we could get rid of any obstacle to our free airflow, which is tension and tongue, then we can, we can finally focus on the core of, of our sound and also the focus of uh, our sound. One easy exercise is to keep one long note uh, using vibrato to find the sweet spot where you get more sound with the same energy. So you can change the speed and the width of your vibrato and the place where you get more sound is the center. It's like playing, getting intentionally out of balance and then finding again your perfect balance. This is the focus of our sound. So you can feel that your sound is alive, is crystal clear, not foggy, not uh, strange. Then you can add an extra difficulty going to the fortissimo with crescendo and pianissimo with diminuendo. Because whenever you change your dynamic, the balance between airflow and embouchure is changing, so you have to find a new balance. The idea is that when you go to the fortissimo, uh, we have the tendency of making a laser sound. So we have to think about widening it a bit and keep the shape of the sound we start from in the mezzo forte. When we go to the pianissimo, we tend to use not enough air and then the sound is not alive anymore. So you have to think about uh, letting the, sun, the sound run into the hole, giving it extra projection. So the volume will be reduced, but it will be still healthy and alive. It is always very important to play with the centered, focused uh, sound. Otherwise, you will never be sure if you are out of tune or not. Actually, intonation is something which can deal with the shape of your sound. If your sound has no core or is not well focused, well centered, you cannot really draw the, the borders of where it is exactly. So if it will be foggy and undefined, it will never be in tune, even if you are perfectly in tune with your slide or with health, but it will sound like it's not in tune and it will not mix, blend with the other instruments. So focusing your sound it's very very important when you have to play with other players so that you can meet with other sounds and blend together properly otherwise it will always be unsatisfying experience of course it's very important to find the same focus and core in all register so starting from the center, you can go high and low, maybe using glissatus. And using the mid register as a term of comparison, look for the same quality. Of course, when you go high or low, you cannot keep using the same airflow or balance within air airflow and uh, embouchure. But this balance should be always achieved so that when you play, uh, you just have to compensate with more or less energy and it will just work. So practicing this will make it automatic when you apply to music. I also said that using the tongue uh, for articulation is not friendly. Actually, it is important to use the tongue, but mostly it's important that the coordination between toad, slide and airflow, it's really perfect. Because whenever we 
crack a note or we kick something or we have a problem mostly it's because our thought is not together with airflow and slide position so mostly then adding another uh, variable like the tongue it's important to work a lot in this coordination uh, so that when you are perfect with that you can add the tongue to refine and polish everything so once again the tongue must be there but it's the last thing to think about and it's the, the last thing to add just when everything is ready it's like the cherry on top of the cake so the core and the focus of sound it's really relevant to have a good intonation and to have a, a solid uh, articulation the matter of articulation will be a topic of another video of course but this thing of coordination between thought air and slide is really important uh, especially when put together with the use of uh, tongue then there will be another video also for slide technique how to achieve more coordination with uh, together with embouchure and airflow thank you very much for watching this episode and uh, once again if you like it just put it down below and subscribe to my channel or if you have any question post it in the comments